Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to use Beat Designer. Now Beat Designer is kind of like the old school drum machines in terms of programming. It's very simple to use, but yet it's quite powerful. Most of the time when I've seen it used, it's used with some of the internal drums with Cubase. Well, it doesn't have to be. And the point of this video is you can use it with anything. I'm going to show you how to use it with Easy Drummer. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is under VST Instruments, set up whatever drum samples or machine you've got. I'm going to use Easy Drummer just as the example here, and I've got it set up with the cocktail kit. Now, if you haven't used Easy Drummer, quite quickly you can set up your output separate by left-clicking, going down, and just selecting multi-channel. Just like that. Close your mixer, and we're ready to go. Now, what you want to do is choose Easy Drummer by left-clicking on it here, and then going to MIDI Inserts. And you're going to select Beat Designer. Go ahead and put that in there. Now, I've gone ahead and pre-programmed some beats here. I'll still show you how to use it with any tool you, you want to use. Uh, straight off the bat, let's have a listen. When I hit Start, it will automatically play. But, personally, I don't like to have to start at the beginning and have my drums start automatically. So what we want to do is make sure we have an empty slot. There's one there. Now, before we get to that point, here's how you program. I'm going to make another beat. On your left here, you'll see your drums, and these can be changed as it relates to whatever tool you're using. In this case, they work pretty well. So I'm going to just start programming. To do that, I'm going to start this. I'm going to start my copy of Cubase. And I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to get a click track. Very simple to use. Now, you'll notice some differences here in the color, and this is automatically assuming that I want to have a velocity level hotter on the first. I'm going to change that by left clicking, holding down with my mouse, and bringing up and down the velocity which is how hard and how loud it's going to end up being on that beat. Let's make our snare a little hotter here. Turn that up. And I'll do that while it's playing. Very simple to use, and that's what I like about it. Now, if you're using some other drums, and you're not seeing the drums here that correlate, you can left-click on this and pick any one you want, that correlates to program it to match the drum synthesizer that you're using. That's simple. Now, you may be asking, how do I change from beat to beat? Well, you'll see this little keyboard here. You can simply click with your left mouse, but of course, it's 
I prefer to program it in there in my MIDI. And I'll show you how to do that. On my MIDI keyboard, I'm going down to C negative one. Now, if I just play right now, that's playing Easy Drummer. But once I click on Jump, it's not. It's actually controlling Beat Designer. So simply, I can change the beats very quickly and very easily and record that so that it plays back the same every time. Now, an important thing to note, when you set it to jump, once you pick your next beat, it won't go there until the end of the round. In other words, it's going to go through every beat of that cycle and then switch, unless you choose now at which point it goes on the next beat. So let's do a little programming. We're going to go down here and start to record. And what I want to do is not have it start at the top. So I'm going to program empty space in there by starting it and clicking on this slot, which is empty. So. There we go. Now I'm going to have it switch coming up. Next beat. Back. Very cool. Very simple but powerful tool. Now, when we play it back, what we want to do is when you start, clear it out, go to one of the empty slots before you hit play. This is playback. And now we've programmed Easy Drummer or any drum machine or drum synthesizer we like using Beat Designer. Now before we finish up, I'll show you a couple of other features here. Let's say you want to have like a double hit or a flam. If you notice, I go down to the bottom and right at the very bottom you can see three little squares. Let's click on one of these here and you see it's highlighted that enables us to do double hits triple hits or flams which can be controlled down here in terms of the position of each individual of the three flam positions so let's go back here we go Double hit on that one. Now, of course, you control things like volume and how it's recorded onto separate tracks from your drum machine itself. So, for instance, we've got this all on separate tracks. And... Controlled by Beat Designer. Let's take a look at that. Separate tracks. It's very simple. And like I said, you don't have to be stuck using internal samples, though there are some very nice ones. You can use any drum module you like with Beat Designer. Thank you for watching the video. Check out the next one, Recording School Online.